here is how to set up a new FTP account for your website through cPanel. First, here's how to log in to your cPanel account. Go to your website domain, type it into the search bar, then hit a forward slash, then type cPanel, C-P-A-N-E-L. Hit enter to go to that URL. That URL will redirect you to a login screen, which is your cPanel login. Type in your login and your password. You can get this from your server host if you don't have it already. Then log in. Once you're logged in, in the search bar at the very top, type in FTP. Alternatively, you can just go find the FTP option in your cPanel menu. FTP accounts is what you want. Click on FTP accounts. Once you're in FTP accounts, this is the screen where you create the new set of FTP credentials. We recommend creating a separate FTP for each person who's going to access your website to maintain your own security. Keep in mind that FTP access is accessed directly to your website's files. So if someone deletes something from them, they're gone. Now, if you host with Jollity, we back up the site every day for you, so this isn't the end of the world, but you'd still have to spend money to get it fixed. So use the person's name. We recommend using the password generator to generate a secure password. Make sure you copy the password down before you get out of this box, because once you do, you won't have access to it again. Select Use Password. It automatically puts it into the password field. Now this part is important. Next, whenever you set up FTP, this little section under directory autofills. It automatically generates what it thinks is a new directory that you need for this new person. If you're creating FTP to help a developer or someone else get access to your website files, you want to get rid of all of this and let them have access to the root folder. Next, if this is someone that you aren't overly familiar with, you might want to set a quota just to make sure they don't get carried away uploading or downloading too many files. The standard quota 2000 is probably plenty. If it's someone that you know and trust, you can probably just choose unlimited, but that's really up to you. Next, hit create FTP account. Give it a second to finish creating the account, and then it will confirm that it's created for you. Next, you need to share those credentials with the person that you're trying to set up FTP for. Make sure that you still have that password set up in a secure place, and you want to click on Configure FTP Client. When you click on that, manual settings will appear for you. Copy and paste these settings, FTP Username, FTP Server, and the port, and paste them into an email or file that you then send to whoever needs FTP access. Before you send it, make sure to remember to add in that password that you had already written down because whoever is uh, accessing your FTP needs that password as well. And that's it.